assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to the lecture of the quantum mechanics in this uh, lecture we will talk about the solution for the problem 2.28 uh, which is uh, from uh, zitli books the question uh, says that let me minimize this let a and b be two n cross n matrices assuming that b inverse x so that uh, a p commutator of a and b inverse is equal to uh, minus b inverse into commutator of a b and b inverse from right so we need to prove uh, this result equal to this let's consider uh, a and b two matrices uh, using uh, use the definition that the matrices are square to solve the proof we will take left hand side first taking left hand side and evaluating commutator so its commutator will be ab minus ba so it become ab inverse minus b inverse into a then in the second step what will we do we will uh, multiply minus b from the left side second step is multiplying minus b from left side so it become minus b ab inverse this will become plus b b inverse a then we will multiply um, b inverse from the left side then we multiply uh, b inverse from the left side minus b inverse from the left side so it will become minus b inverse b uh, a b this is the b inverse sorry this is b inverse and this will become plus and similarly b inverse b b inverse and a we multiplied first with minus b from left side then minus b inverse from left side and then we will take uh, minus b inverse common from the left and uh, minus b inverse from the right you know that uh, you can write uh, this is equal to identity so this identity can be written here also and this identity is equal to b b inverse so if we write here b and uh, b inverse here and in instead of writing here and then again taking b inverse common from the right side so this b inverse and this b inverse will be come out and similarly this b inverse and this b inverse will come out from the left side and this b inverse will come out from the right side so we'll be left with this this is the required uh, answer uh, a b inverse commutator will be equal to minus b inverse a b and b inverse from the right side uh, we use the property of identity matrix here if i revise this again because this uh, the second last step is a little bit uh, tricky make sure that here we will take uh, b inverse uh, minus b inverse common from the left side so minus b inverse from the left side and this b inverse will be come out this b inverse will be come out and this b inverse will come out but uh, again this b b inverse is equal to identity so we can write this identity either from left side of a either from the right side of a so we can write this identity as here so it will be equal to b and b inverse b and b inverse you know that this is identity this can be written from the left side or the right side and again b inverse uh, this is mistaken written b inverse because this is b inverse you know this is b inverse so b inverse again taking b inverse this b inverse from the right side so this will give b inverse minus b inverse from left side and b inverse from right side and commutator of ab this is the our uh, required answer Similarly, if we go back uh, to another question, if I maximize it, this is the problem 2.2. Say, consider four cross four matrices A, which is given, and find the matrix of uh, A tiger, and n is equal to A tiger into A. And h is equal to n plus i over 2, where i is identity matrix, 
B is equal to A plus A Tiger and C is equal to Iota into A minus A Tiger. We have to find this matrices whole. First, uh, we need A uh, Tiger from A. So, if this is the 4 cross 4, cross four matrix, if we take its hermitians, then it will, uh, hermitian of A by taking the hermitian of each component is A Tiger, it will be equal to conjugate of this whole entries. 1 star x, 0, 2 star x, so this will again give us the similar, the same matrix. If you maximize, minimize this, this, this A dagger will be equal to uh, this identity, this A matrix. Now again we have, we are given with another option, which is uh, N is equal to A dagger and A. We will multiply A daggers and A, both. We are now uh, we know that a dagger is equal to this matrix and a is equal to this. So we need just to multiply this with this. This will give answer like uh, this one. N is equal to a dagger and a. This is a dagger and this is a. So keeping this uh, a dagger on the left side and a on the right side and just multiplying this, this will give uh, n, which is the product of these two matrices. Then Hermitian matrix by using the given identity. Uh, Hermitian matrix uh, is equal to n plus i over 2. So you know that this is uh, the value of n. And uh, identity matrix is the adjust identity matrix. Primary diagonal is 1. And all the secondary and half diagonal entries are 0. So we will plug the values. If I maximize it, it will become... Yes. We are given with the H is equal to N. We have N in the previous equation. This is N. And this is the value of uh, N. And uh, plus 1 over 2. This is the 1 over 2. And I. This is the value of I. So we will just plug H, uh, N in this, in this place and I in this and 1 over 2. So if we multiply this 1 over 2 with this separators and just add them, this will give this result, which is the value of n, and also value of h. This is the Hermitian operator. Then if we go back to question, we are asked to find the matrices for the b, which is equal to a plus a steric. So what will we do this? We are given with the B matrices and uh, this is the matrix for A steric and this is the matrix for A and you know that B is equal to A plus A dagger as in the previous formula you know this B is equal to A plus A dagger A is given and A dagger is given so we can find B by just adding this two matrices and then we are to find calculate the say, matrix C which is given by C is equal to IOTA a minus A dagger. We are given with the value of uh, A daggers and A. We need just to plug here. Iota is Iota and A. This is the value of A minus A steric. We need to just subtract them and then multiply by Iota. This will give uh, the value of C which is just a null uh, matrices. Now look back to question. What are the remaining uh, parts? In the part B, find the matrices corresponding to the commutator A dagger com and A commutator B and C, N and B and N and C. We at this position, we know the value of A dagger and B and C because we already found out. Here we found out the value of C and similarly we have found out the value of B and similarly N and B. We can take their commutator by just uh, using the property of a commutator. So let's see. First, uh, if we take the commutator of a, a dagger and A, so this will give A dagger A minus A into A dagger. This is the value of A daggers and this is the value of A. We will just take, uh, uh, put plug this value in this expressions and minus A and just subtract them. This will give the value of A dagger and A. Similarly, commutator of BC will be equal to BC minus CB. We know that uh, this is the value of B and this is the value of C. If we just plug these values and uh, multiply these two matrices, and then subtract them. This will give uh, 
commutator of B and C. Similarly, if we go ahead, we can find the value of commutator of N and B, which will equal to NB minus BN. So for B, we have matrix this, and for N, we have already calculated this N. So just plug these value in this uh, uh, formula and multiply these two matrices and subtract them. This will give n commutator B. Similarly, very simple one. We can find the commutator for n and C, which is equal to n C minus C n. This is the value of C and this is the value of n. Just plug this and take pro take the product and the difference. Then now for the question third part. Find the matrices corresponding to B square, C square, N and B square plus C square, H and A dagger, H and A. We can find the commutator of them because we know B and C. We can find the B square and C square by multiplying with itself. Similarly, we can find the B square plus C square uh, because the sum of the two matrices and then commutator with A. And these are the very simple. Then at the end, we have to verify the determinant of A, B, C should be equal to determinant of A, determinant of B and determinant of C and determine of half tiger is equal to this so we can solve for the d part because c part is the similar as previous this is the value for b square this is the value for c square this is the value for n into b square plus c square you can see here and this is the value of n and b square plus c square this is the n and b square plus c square just uh, you can see that how we have evaluated these whole expressions. This should be the value of uh, n commutator b square plus c square. As you uh, are looking here, this is n and this is b square because we already calculated b square and c square. Multiply, uh, multiplying c with c, it will give c square. And then uh, putting this if n into commutator of this n into b square plus c square minus b square plus c square into n. We are actually interested in part d because uh, this is the value of h and a square h will become h a square minus a square h. We are this is the value of h and this is the value of a so you can take the uh, this commutators and, and a square and a minus a square into h. Similarly commutator of h and a. These are the other properties. H A is equal to H A minus A H. H N is equal to H N minus N H. Now we are given that the determinant by using the definition of the identity determinant of A B C is equal to zero because the determinant of the identity matrices uh, is equal to zero. So this should be equal to determinant of A, determinant of B, and determinant of C is equal to zero. If determinant of C is equal to 0, this means determinant of C complex conjugate will be equal to 0. So, determinant of A and determinant of B and determinant of C will be equal to 0. If uh, we go back and the check the value of A, B, C uh, and then multiply just uh, their individual uh, determinant, this will give us 0 is equal to 0. So, I will stop at this point because this question becomes so lengthy. I think this was very simple but just lengthy. Uh, just multiplication of a matrix and uh, how to evaluate the commutators. And this was uh, not a difficult question but lengthy one.